guys, Rob Murphy from Lister Healing Choices here, and today we're going to have a look at the app Astro Soul. So, before we get into the review, what I'd really love if you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. That really helps us out a lot. But anyway, let's get onto the review. So, Astro Soul is a palmistry, psychometry, tarot, and horoscope app. Now, immediately, Half of the people aren't going to be interested in any of that because I don't believe in it. And, yeah, fair enough. But, there are so many other layers to this one. So, you don't just get your normal horoscope, you get a Chinese horoscope, you get a Mayan horoscope, you get a Druid horoscope. It lets you take a look at your face to read your future, as well as your palms. So, both palms in this one as well. And, a few other features. So, let's dive in and have a look. Astro Soul. So here we get into Astro Soul. Here it just takes a little while to load, and here we are. So up the top, you'll see I have my personal information. Then I have my soulmate. That sort of thing. What language, privacy policy, blah, blah, blah. Now here I can go into my horoscope. So my zodiac. Okay, so here we are. You've got what stuff is happening for you today, health, and career. Get back into that, my day, increased popularity. But you've got Indian stuff as well, Indian solar, whatever these ones mean, because they look completely different to what the other zodiac says. So you got a Chinese horoscope for the dragon or whatever. Druid, which is an interesting one that I haven't seen anywhere else before. And a Mayan one as well. You can have a look at your daily biorhythm thing, and then tomorrow, and also what yesterday was like. Now, it doesn't give you a lot of information about what that actually means, which is a bit annoying, because I don't know. You can go into your palmistry, so here I have done it on my left and my right. And it gives you an indication of what those lines are meant to mean, what your love is like, your health and wealth. And then pretty well the same on the right. You've got a face one as well. So your physiognomy, however you say that. Different explanation about what your forehead, eyebrows, eyes, nose and mouth all sort of mean. Just from a photo, not a very good photo either mind you. But then you have like your tarot reading, so you've got all whole deck of cards here to slide across and choose between. No one. Maybe, if it lets you choose them. Okay. I'm not meant to have that one, obviously. <laughs> you can get your reading. So you get your result. <laughs> and all what these cards mean and what they might mean for you. Then you got a magic ball. So ask it a question. Is this app worth the money? Wow. <laughs> So you've got some numerology. Now it doesn't even tell you what these numbers actually mean. Like what they represent. So I guess it's believed that you'll have an understanding of what those numbers mean for you. Or what, yeah, they mean in general. You've got your compatibility. So 
So I can be an Aquarius who's with an Aries and check that. Now this one, yeah, 66% with love. And then 71% marriage. It's like, doesn't that mean the same sort of thing? But anyway, and that is about all you can do. So you have to really find out whether the daily horoscopes and the daily tarot card bit and having this simple magic ball thing where, you know, you don't even have to really ask it a question and you get a answer of stuff is worth it for you. And I mean, most of this information you can find somewhere else anyway, and it's not going to cost you about $50 a week. To have a go of it. So, I don't know, for me, the value is not there. But anyway, let's get on to the review. Now, I will say, it is a very nicely designed app. It's easy to use, easy to look at, easy to see what's what on there and get to what you want easily. So, how much would you be willing to pay for an app like this? Now, keep in mind, they give you a three day free trial to experience this app. But after that, you would be looking at $47.99 per week. That's right, around $50 per week for the use of this app to tell you your future, to do a little bit of stuff, to... <sighs> now, for some people, that might be useful. For some people, <sighs> this might be a thing where you just forget about it and you end up paying $50. For some people, this is an absolute blatant rip-off. $50 a week. Now, $50 a month would still be too much in my eyes for what this app offers. Really, a newspaper will cost you $1.10 or $2, let's say. Plus, if you had a hand reading or palm reading every week. I don't know, that might add up. But why would you need one every week? As you can see there when I used the app, now I took that photo a couple of days beforehand. So it wasn't like I could redo it. So there's no, for lack of a better term, replayability in that. And same with my face as well. I did my face and the hands right at the same time just to use the app and see what it would do for me. And then you've got this magic crystal ball, which, you know, won't, you can't get the energy or the feel or the whatever it is that they would normally say in a crystal, normal crystal ball or a normal eight ball or anything like that. So I don't believe that anything on this app is worth $50 a week, but it is well designed. So the layout's great. Lower the hell out of the price, maybe like, $2 a week would be useful for some people because honestly I can't see I can't justify that at all for this one so for this one I can only really give it about a 3 out of 10 way too much money for what you get in the app either you believe in it or you don't but I would say maybe try another one I'm sure there are plenty of free apps out there that offer very, very similar sort of things. So give one of those a go. But anyway guys, this has been an app review. What do you think of astrology, of tarot reading, of any of that sort of thing, and palmistry as well? Leave a comment down below, as well as what other apps you would recommend me to follow up with or try out. But anyway guys, I'm Rob Murphy, and I'll see you in the next video.